big sister, big brother, auntie, uncle, foster mother, and adopted father. You should never let a black child under the fourth grade be evaluated for a learning disability. Never, never, ever. Why? Because you can't prove it exists. The learning disability is an opinion. The learning disability is a theory. The learning disability is a hypothesis. The learning disability was invented, coincidentally, right here in the city of Chicago. Yep, the learning disability is a Chicago creation. And you know why they made it up? To justify separating black children from white children after school desegregation to make sure the white children got a privileged education and the black children received a dysfunctional education. Your child is not learning disabled. Your child is lazy disabled. In Chicago, we got lazy black boys. In Chicago, we got lazy black girls. And guess what? If there's a lazy black boy, and if there's a lazy black girl, that means there's a lazy black parent. Oh, yeah. Whenever I evaluate a little lazy little Negro, the first thing I do is pick up the phone and call his mama, call his dad. Why can't your son read and he's in the third grade? Oh, well, he didn't go to a good school. I don't want to hear about the school. You can teach a child how to read yourself at a kitchen table. I don't want to hear about no school. I bet you you got video games in that house. I bet you you got laptops in that house. I bet you you got a cell phone in that house. I bet you he got some Air Jordans. I bet you he got some weave. I bet you there's a white Jesus hanging up on the wall. I bet you got everything else in that house. But you ain't got no books in that house. How many of you out here today who have children who have not yet graduated from high school? How many of you got a bookshelf in your house that has at least 20 books on it? How many of you got a dictionary in your house with more than 200 pages in it? How many of you got a thesaurus in your house with more than 400 pages in it? How many of you have a complete set of encyclopedia in your house from A until Z? Because if you ain't got no dictionary, if you don't have a thesaurus, if you don't have a bookshelf, if you don't have a complete set of encyclopedia, you are raising your son for Cook County Prison. I'm just being honest. Because if a black boy can't read by the time he finishes the fifth grade in Chicago, that black boy will be in jail by his 25th birthday. It's that simple. If he cannot read by the, by the time he finishes the fifth grade, he's not likely to learn by the time he finishes the 12th. This is why we're building the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy in Wilmington, Delaware. And brothers and sisters, I want to invite all of y'all to join me at the Frederick Douglass and Marcus Garvey Academy at 600 East 17th Street in Wilmington, Delaware. This coming Saturday, September the 10th, I repeat, Saturday, September the 10th, will be our second annual Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy Family Festival from 10 in the morning until 8 p.m. Food, games, raffles, vendors, giveaways, music, performance, a whole day full of fun. All you have to do is fly into the Philadelphia International Airport. Wilmington, Delaware is 20 driving minutes from the Philadelphia International Airport. If you want to be a vendor or if you want to perform on our stage, please go to fdmgfestival.com. The festival is free. It does not cost you. Go to fdmgfestival.com and register. I thought the school would be done by now, but we have been running into some unscrupulous black contractors. We got ripped off by a black electrician. We got ripped off by a black plumber. So brothers and sisters, the only reason why the Marcus Garvey Academy isn't done is we have to find black men and women who are responsible enough and have enough integrity and character to finish the work that they got paid for. With that being said, if any of you know 
of a plumber, if any of you know of an electrician who can do industrial level work, commercial level work, please pass them on to Dr. Umar because I want to start